podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Paul Cantabene Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson Head Men's Across Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, you went over to Salisbury last week, and um, you know, not hard fought battle. Um, just kind of take us through that game. You made a little bit of a comeback, and. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a hard-fought game. I thought both teams really played hard. You know what I mean? It wasn't the cleanest of games, but yeah. when you and Hustle and Salisbury get together, I thought we just laid it all on the line. Both teams played their hearts out, and, you know, they made one or two more plays than us and uh, and hit some good shots. I thought they did a, a really good job, and I thought we kind of missed some shots that we should have had. And uh, But you know, but overall, we just weren't as organized on offense and unclear. I just think we're a little nervous there playing some younger bucks, really, in the game with our polls. Got a little bit nervous and made some poor choices. But, you know, we're working on it this week in practice. But, you know, we played hard. You know, we got, we're, unfortunately, we're 0-3. And and uh, but you know we're four goals away playing probably the number two team the three team the six team in the country but your record usually says who you are and we got to get better with a big weekend coming up but I think our guys are real positive about what we're doing and what's going on and uh, we're looking forward to another great challenge coming up. Yeah, obviously. In fact, obviously you're just out of practice. Um, you know how's practice today? Well, I think we got a lot stronger today. <laughs> um, a lot of push-ups. But, you know, I think we just got to hold ourselves a little more accountable. The guys and our coaches and the, and, the, and the players a little more accountable about what's going on and their actions and what's going on. And, and we got to be a little more tougher on the offensive end. we got to score some tougher goals, go a little bit harder, and be willing to pay the price in order to do that. And uh, I think the guys are working hard. We've worked hard all year. And uh, we're not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater right now. We're going to continue to work well and get better. And hopefully by the end of the year we have a really good team with a chance to make the NCAA tournament. That's our goal, as it's always been, and, and hopefully we can do that. Yeah, no, obviously switching gears. Obviously host the Mustang Classic this weekend. Great yes, event sir. as always. Um, you know, eight eight great teams. You know, th three of the top four in the in the new poll this week. Um, you know, RIT's number one. Uh, Destin's two and York's four. So I mean, obviously play play Dickinson on Friday yeah. in York on Saturday. Yeah, I and mean, we got you know we got eight great teams, and uh, you know it's going to be a great weekend playing with all those nationally ranked teams coming on. And I think this is just a great weekend for Division Three lacrosse in general. Have all those teams come here, have them all in one spot. The coverage we get from everybody, and just the atmosphere. One team coming in, a game's going on, and seeing that play, and then the game ends, and you're on, and then the other team's leaving, and it's just that coziness of the whole thing. And it's just been such a great thing, and I appreciate all the coaches that come to it each and every year, and. You you know, five of the eight teams I think this year are, are ranked, and, you know, it's really a great thing and just getting better. And then the teams that aren't ranked have played great schedules. You know, they just played really great schedules against really good teams and haven't gone their way. So the good part about this tournament, you win two games, you're feeling great about yourself. You, know, you lose two, you know, it doesn't really hurt you because you play two great nationally yeah. ranked teams and it doesn't hurt you as much. Like Amherst is playing probably the number one and two team in the country this week. And, you know, we're playing um, uh, the probably the 12 or 11 seed in the poll. Greg's been more <laughs> versed on it than me, but 11 and, you know, f four. You know, so they're all great games. Games. And so we're, we know we were excited about it, and all the teams are going to be excited about a great weekend of just a showcase of Division Three lacrosse. Yeah, really looking forward to it. We hope to see everybody here this weekend. Can't wait. Come in. The game started at 12:30, and uh, on Friday and Saturday, and uh, we played the late games. But everybody, come on out. It should be a good time at Owens Mills. All right, thanks, Coach. I wish you the best of luck, and we'll obviously we'll talk to you on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be a lot happier. All right, <laughs> all right. For Paul Cantabeni, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabeni Show.